is Shafia from Mutari Store SG and today I will be driving out to work. Okay, so you guys know there's this tradition where people say if you just passed your driving license, make sure you have somebody accompany you. I don't agree. There's no point in getting your driving license if you have someone accompany you all the way. You might as well drive with your driving instructor. No cash card detected. Then they think this is what? I put SIM card ah. There's a car behind me already. How to reverse? Shit. I don't know what happened. I just stopped out my EZ-Link yesterday only eh. Huh? EZ-Link? Sister, this is Kapa country eh. Not MRD country, you know? But my boss said you can put EZ-Link on eh. Hey guys, I'm back. So I went and did a little bit of research on IU units, cash cards and gantries. And apparently there's two types of IU units which is the old IU and the new IU which is also called the dual mode IU. The old IU accepts Nets cash card and Nets flash pay. The new one accepts your Nets cash card, Nets flash pay, credit card and your CPAS compliant cards like your EZ-Link cards, Nets or transit link cards. So now I know why my boss says that I can use EZ-Link for the IU unit but obviously not for my car. And you can also use these CPAS cards for CPAS compliant gantries. There's also the barrier gate system where you need to retrieve the parking ticket from the gantry, make payment at the office before you can leave the car park. The semi EPS gantry where you have to manually slot in or tap your cards for the barrier to open. EPS gantry system where they will detect your cash card from the IU unit and then the barrier will automatically open for you. Just like the car park that I'm in right now. So guess what? I brought down all the cash cards that I can find at home in case I cannot exit the gantry again. <laughs> Since I need to exit the car park now, I'm gonna top up one of the cash cards because I think all of my cash cards, there's no money inside. Um, I'm gonna top up this one and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. And by right, you guys can actually top up at 7-Eleven but there's an additional amount so I'm just gonna go old school and top up at the machine. So here we are at the Nets top up machine. You will see three options on the screen. I'm pressing the first option for top up. Then it will prompt for your card type, either Nets cash card or Nets flash pay. Then you can choose the preset amount that you want to top up or if not, you can also type in manually. Then you slot in your bank card. Key in your PIN number and press enter. Then you remove your bank card and insert your next cash card. And you're done! Okay, so now that I've topped up my cash card and I inserted the correct one, let's try and exit this car park one more time. Hit me baby one more time, I must confess, I still believe, still believe. Oh my god. Open sesame. Yeah, nailed it. Okay, so I finally reached office. Thank you guys for watching today's episode of my P plate series. I had fun, although it was a little bit panicky at first at the gantry. But uh, I did learn something and I hope you guys learned something too about the IU units, gantries and cash cards. This is just the beginning. Don't forget to subscribe and tune in next week to find out what I'll be exploring next. In the meantime, don't forget to give me a friendly horn on the roads if you see me. Bye!